Hello all and welcome to this hands-on lab. In our lab today, we will build an app from scratch with Party Rock. A couple of things to keep in mind before we proceed further ahead. Party Rock is free while I'm recording this lab. Hence, please check if it's still free when you do this lab on your own. Also, please check your Party Rock credits before creating your own app. Prerequisites for our lab today is knowledge of Party Rock. Hence, if you do not know what this tutorial is all about, please refer to this overview video that I had created some time back. URL to this tutorial is mentioned right here at the bottom. I will also have it posted in the description of this video. These are some reference URLs that I've mentioned over here. I would certainly encourage that you visit these URLs as they have additional information about this particular topic. Scenario for our lab today, we need to build an app that suggests baby names depending on baby's date of birth, gender, and culture. In addition to that, this app should also provide a detailed meaning of the user selected baby name. The scenario is pretty straightforward. The app needs to suggest baby names depending on the day, baby's date of birth, gender, and culture. And in addition, should provide the detailed meaning of whatever baby name the user selects. Steps for our lab today. So first, let's go to Party Rock. You need to sign in. This is the URL for Party Rock. Click on Build Your Own App and then click on Start from an Empty App. So let me switch to my Party Rock console. So this is my Party Rock console right here. I'm already logged in. And this is Build Your Own App right here at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now I'm going to click on Start from an Empty App. So this is my app and it's empty. So we have basically completed these three steps. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to add a widget for static text. And this is what that widget is going to say, that this app recommends baby names depending on baby's date of birth, gender, and culture. And if we want, we can also add that it also provides a detailed meaning of the selected baby name. So let's get started. So I'm over here. Let's click on create widget. It's going to be static text. And we are going to say baby name. Uh, baby name, I don't know, astrologer. You can give whatever name that you like. And I am going to basically copy this particular text from here. Since I already have it typed out. You can again give whatever text that you like. Let me paste this text over here. So this app recommends baby names depending on baby's date of birth, gender, and culture. It also provides a detailed meaning of the selected name of the selected baby name or name, whatever. So you can put whatever you like over here and click on save. So this is our step number four and we have completed this step. After that, we are going to add another widget. This is gonna be an user input widget, right? And this is for date of birth. And again, we have another widget over here, which is also going to be an user input widget and it is for uh, gender and similarly one for culture. So let's get started. So click on create widget and I'm going to say this is going to be a user input one and I'm going to say this is date of birth. Again, the default value that I'm going to give over here for date of birth is today's date. So today's date is three, 29, 2024, 20, and save. So we've completed this step. I'm now going to add a widget for gender and then for culture. So let's go ahead and do that. All of them are user input. 
So this is going to be gender. You can give whatever gender value that you like. But as a default value, I'm going to give female. I'm going to give add one another widget over here. This is also going to be user input. And this is going to be for culture. And the default value over here is going to be American. So we have added all of these widgets uh, successfully. So we have completed these three steps. And remember that uh, the widget type is user input for all the three widgets. Now we are going to add an AI powered widget over here. And that is to basically enlist all the recommended names. So this is going to be the widget title. We are going to use the model as cloud three. And this is the prompt. So let's get started. So scroll down further, click on create widget. And this is going to be an AI powered text generation widget. So click on that. And this, we are going to call it recommended names. Now, again, you can give whatever title that you like. I'm going to use this particular model. You can use whatever model that you like, right? So this is cloud three sonnet. And over here as prompt, we are going to basically mention list of recommended whatever culture baby names based on date of birth and gender. So I'm again going to go and copy it from here. Paste it in notepad again, then go ahead and paste it right here. So list of Remember, we have a culture widget, so there it is. So I'm going to select culture. So we have a list of recommended whatever culture baby names based on. Again, we have another widget for date of birth. The so date of birth. And then another widget for gender. Right, so gender right here. And then full stop. And then click on save and we should be good so we have basically completed this step and now we need to rearrange all the widgets and then uh, execute further to get a list of recommended baby names so let's do that okay so i'm going to go ahead and now resize and rearrange all these widgets so this is one this is two. I'm going to have this thing here. And this is three. And I'm going to have this one also over here. And this is the list of recommended names. I'm just going to keep it a little longer. Sometimes it gives you this. So go ahead and do that. It just wants to figure out if you're human or not. So confirm. Okay. So we have everything in place. So let's go ahead and execute the command over here. So this is the date of birth. So that is today's date. So I'm going to hit enter. Gender is female and culture is American. So what I'm looking forward to is a list of American baby girl names for babies who are born today. That is on 29th of March, 2020. So these are some names that have been provided over here. Let us see if I change the culture to Italian. What do I get now? It should regenerate the baby names at the bottom. So these are some Italian baby names for girls born today. Awesome. Okay, so we have a few names that have been enlisted over here. Let me change the gender to male and the date of birth to 1225 and perhaps the culture to English. So let's see what names it comes back with. So I'm looking for some English baby boy names. Born on 25th of December. Remember 25th of December is Christmas. So hopefully it understands that and let me i'm just 
resizing this particular box. And yes, it did understand that this is during Christmas. It is winter and hence it is you providing names using some biblical references. So great. Perfect. So we have basically completed this step. Now let us add another widget. Again, this is going to be an AI powered widget. This is going to be a chatbot. And this particular widget is going to provide us detailed meanings of a suggested name. So this is going to be the widget title, the model, initial message and prompt. So let's get started. So go back over here, click on create widget. Remember, this is an AI powered chatbot. And I'm going to say the title is detailed meaning. Model is still the same, cloud three. Initial message. So uh, initial message is I provide detailed meaning of the selected baby name. So let me copy that. Paste it right here and go back. And this is my initial message. And the prompt is provide detailed meaning. So this is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And then let's copy that over here. And click on save. Okay, so let's see now what happens. So I'm gonna change the date again. I'm gonna bring it to somewhere around Halloween, right? Male, I want English, baby name. So let's see what comes back with. So it it needs, I hopefully it understands that um, the date is around Halloween and it comes back with some suggested names accordingly. Okay, so it did not get that. Okay, maybe if I change the name, oh, sorry, the culture to American, then it might consider Halloween. So let's see. These are some American baby boy names. Okay. Uh, maybe not. It didn't quite catch that. So that's okay. Okay. So now let us mix it up a little and see, let's put it on uh, somewhere around and like, you know, first of January 2024, female, and I want Japanese names. So let's see what it comes back with. So this is for 1st of January. And let's see if it realizes this is the beginning of the year. Okay, so these are some baby girl names and I'm not going to, you know, try and pronounce these names. What I am going to do is I'm going to copy one of the names, which is Akari and paste it right here. And remember now, this is my selected name and this is our detailed meaning AI chatbot widget and it should provide me the detailed meaning of this particular name. And it basically says that it has two kanji characters. It means bright light. And the literal meaning is bright village or bright hometown. And it's related to bright and brightness. And it conveys something that is radiant, shining brightly. Awesome. Okay, so now let me go back up and change this to May I change the culture to Chinese and change the date of birth to 4-1-2024. Let's see what it comes back with. This is 1st of April, 2024. And I'm looking for some Chinese names. So it's coming back with some names again.
It's still generating. Okay, and these are some Chinese names. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this, but I'm going to copy one of the names over here. This is Blessed by Heaven, Tian Ku. And pardon me if I'm mispronouncing the name. Let me scroll this further down. It's this name right here. Hopefully, it recognizes these Chinese characters. It's telling me now it's a Japanese name. Okay, so it's probably a mixed culture name. And Heaven or Sky. Okay. Okay, let's take something else. Let's take this Z, this particular Z Young, this particular name. Let me, I hope this is a Chinese name. I'm going to again paste this. And this is a Chinese name, hopefully. Oh, again, it's a Japanese name. Maybe it's the characters. That's interesting. It's kind of, it's telling me that these are Chinese names over here. And then it is recognizing them as a Japanese uh, name. Okay. So, Maybe it's something that is mixed. Let me make this female names. And now let us see what it comes back with. So these are some Chinese baby names for baby girl born on 1st of April. So this is... Hopefully, I'm pronouncing this correctly, Yuxun, and it's saying eloquent and beautiful. So this sounds like a baby girl name. And in, in fact, this time I'm going to copy the, the one with English characters. So let's see. Okay, and finally, this is a Chinese name. And it seems that it means rain. Drain Pavilion, okay, and it seems it's still, it's still working on it. Okay, so basically it is telling me that this is a Chinese name, and it seems that it evokes a sense of tranquility, peacefulness, and appreciation for nature's simple pleasures. Okay. Awesome. So hopefully this particular lab was helpful. This is how you can go about creating your own app from scratch. I've created this very simple baby name app. You can create your own. You can create whatever you like. Do play around with Party Rock. It's, it's a lot of fun, as you can see. And you can you know change the different user inputs, figure out what the outcome is. Sometimes, as you see, it does get confused but that's where the beauty lies. Figure out, you know, uh, what level of accuracy it has and just play around with it. So hopefully this lab was helpful and this is it from me today. I will see you shortly in some other video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.